Hi there, students. Nettle. To nettle. A verb. A nettle. A noun. A nettled as an adjective. Well, the first and base me basic meaning of a nettle, it's this plant that stings you. A stinging nettle. I'm sure you've all been stung by stinging nettles. Yeah? It's a plant of the um, urtica family. Yeah, and yeah, you touch a stinging nettle, and it makes your st your your um, skin sting. But we use this verb to nettle, meaning to irritate, to try to provoke somebody. So don't listen to what he's saying. He's just trying to nettle you. Yeah, to irritate you, to vex you, to bother you. Yeah. Um, I don't know when 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 you play sports very often. Uh, if you, one team try to nettle the members of the other team to upset them, yeah, to annoy them, to uh, get at them, yeah, to find something that rankles with them, yeah, to aggravate them, yeah, to ruffle their feathers a bit. Okay, so to nettle. Um, don't get so nettled about things like this. They're not really very important. Yeah, so to make somebody a bit angry. I was rather nettled by uh, the comments that she made. Annoyed. And then also with nettle, we actually have an idiom to grasp the nettle. Um, this means to uh, be brave and do something that's difficult or something that's unpleasant. Be brave about it and uh, go go straight for it and uh, do, and do, and do do it without uh, holding back. Um, they say that if you take a nettle and you treat it uh, roughly, it doesn't sting you. In my opinion, it still does, but not as not as much as um, it would if you just brush against it, which is interesting. So to grasp the nettle, to act boldly, especially when th there are probably bad consequences in the short term, but you will have better uh, long term consequences. Yeah. So grasp the, the nettle. I know it's not pleasant. Bite the bullet and do it now. Um, come on. You've got to give up smoking. Grasp the nettle. I know you'll spend a few days feeling really bad, but after that you'll feel an awful lot better. Grasp the nettle. That's that's the idea. So to nettle somebody, to annoy somebody, to make them angry. Yeah. Um, uh, he was clearly nettled by uh, what had been said. Yeah. He was nettled by the fact that I told him to grasp the nettle and uh, and. Uh, take on the uh, problem directly. Okay, so a nettle, a, it's a wild stinging plant that stings you when you touch it. I'm sure you've been stung by nettles. And then to to be annoyed by something or to annoy someone, to offend somebody. Yeah, um, my suggestion that he uh, wasn't going to win the, um, the match rather nettled him. It it galled him, it annoyed him, yet yeah, it provoked him. Um, so, well, if you if you if you're nettled by things, it's just better you calm down and forget about them rather than let them irritate you. Okay, so what about formality to nettle? I think this is probably a little bit formal. I think I would use, I would probably give it a six in formality. It sounds a little bit literary. I think probably in an informal conversation, I'd just use the phrase to annoy or to provoke. So use it in a semi-formal conversation or um, a semi-formal writing. Yeah. Um, don't get nettled by what by uh, your teacher's comments. Um, and then as to origin. Well, it, um, it comes from a Proto-Germanic word, uh, natto, which actually uh, means nettle itself. So I think uh, the word nettle has been around for quite a long time. So grasp the nettle.
act boldly act now even if it's going to be difficult in the short term you will get long-term benefits yeah don't let the short-term problems of grasping the nettle don't let them nettle you don't let them upset you okay so nettle if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon bye for now nettle grasp the nettle